progresses. This is your trigger warning. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome from TimCast.com. Couldn't have come, couldn't have happened to a better person. It's funny when the progressives and the Democrats start to eat themselves. They're eating each other, and nobody can be more delighted than I. They're using their own tactics against them. Let's read on. AOC Town Hall Forum descends into chaos as protesters take over. Video, you'll see a couple of videos here. Well, my response to that is eat and die. <laughs> Let's read on. Some videos coming up here. So, a town hall event held by New York Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Still says she has an awesome name, though. Descending to chaos. No. When a large group of protesters took it over on Wednesday. This took place at the Listening Forum. That's ironic. The Listening Forum <laughs> event at the Boys and Girls Club in Astoria, Queens. By the way, that's where Trump is from. When they end up putting up the Trump Library in Queens, oh, oh this could, that's going to be fun to watch that fiasco. But I digress. The group was protesting several different issues, including the rising crime rate and LGBT-specific housing resources. As the congresswoman spoke of LGBTQ centers, one of the protesters responded, so if I don't have butt sex, I don't have a place to live. <laughs> You know what? Seriously, he could have worded it a little different, but he's making his point. Sir, your sexual orientation has nothing to do with it, Casio Cortez replied in the video, which was taken up by a reporter from Freedom News TV. Now, I've never heard of Freedom News TV, but it is some good work on this one. Yeah, so let's, um, let's just check out some of the video here. The protesters had up signs, including AOC is an obvious criminal, F. Joe Biden, and wake up New York. Now, this, we'll see some of her reactions as some of them went on. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm just not allowed, I'm not allowed to be in a room where the lights turn off. It gets a little... That's what I'm going to say. All right, all right, listen, all right, listen, listen, okay, listen. With her fake Hispanic accent. Okay, listen, listen. Like she's from the uh, part of L.A. It's, it's amazing to me. How insulting is that? She doesn't speak like that. Yes, yeah, she has Hispanic heritage, but she doesn't speak like that. She wasn't brought up in neighborhoods with Spanish accents. You have any idea how racist and insulting that is? It's amazing to me. At one point, one of the poachers began playing a bongo drum as the other chant ALC has got to go. As they chanted, Representative Acasio Cortez danced along with them. Uh, here's here's some more video. This is interesting as well. What an arrogant Oh, I'll tell you right now. This is what happens. This is what well, this is what uh, she's going on her third term. She's had four years in there now. It's amazing to me. Crowley, the Democrat she beat, is probably laughing his behind off. During the protest, the lights shut off, and the congresswoman was temporarily rushed out by security. When she returned, she explained she is not allowed to be in dark rooms. All right, I'll get that. That's fine. Later, as the protesters chanted, vote her out, supporters in the crowd began responding with no. This is the second time a Q&A with a congresswoman was interrupted by protests for this month. Now, here's the funny part. Let me show you a tweet she made in 2020. And here's a tweet she made. The whole point of protesting is to make people uncomfortable. Activists take this discomfort with the status quo and advocate for concrete policy changes. Popular, popular support often starts small and grows. The folks who complain protest demands make others uncomfortable. That's the point. Oh, okay. They're using their own tactics against each other. They're eating each other. And no one can be more delighted than I. At a similar event on October 12th, Ocasio-Cortez was called out by former supporters. And that's the key word right there, former supporters. 
over a position on the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. One of the protesters, Joe Vega, tweeted a video of the confrontation and wrote, my friend and I confronted Congresswoman AOC under support for nuclear war and Ukrainian NAZIS. I can't say it because the algorithm will pick it up. And this is just a short, brief, brief clip from that meeting, that uh, town hall meeting. Congresswoman, none of this matters unless there's a nuclear war, which you voted to send arms and weapons to Ukraine. Tulsi Gathers, she's left the Democratic Party because there are a bunch of war hawks, okay? You originally voted, you ran as an outsider, yet you've been voting to start this war in Ukraine. You're voting- and there you have it. The protesters were upset that she had been siding with more hawkish members of the party. Why are you playing with the lives of American citizens, you man? You're playing with their lives. During both events, the congresswoman accused the protesters of not having decorum or being rude. However, in 2020, Ocasio-Cortez infamously tweeted that the whole point of protesting is to make people feel uncomfortable. So what does she do instead? She mocks them by dancing while they're chanting. She has a fake Hispanic accent, like, oh, come down, come down. Oh, 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 you know what? Scumbag, absolute scumbag. Well, the veil has been lifted. Everybody knew about it, but it's, 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 there's, there's knowing and then there's seeing. And they're seeing it. She's enriched herself greatly financially, greatly financially, lives in a secure building with all kinds of amenities. No public housing, you know, hypocrites on parade. Am I saying the Republicans have all the answers? Absolutely not. But look at this. Look at this hypocrisy. She won't be voted out, of course, because there's a plus 62, I think, them district down there. But that's the way that goes. But at least one thing, will be, she will be in the minority so she can run her mouth all she wants all the Republicans just, just sit there and smile as she pulls her temper tantrums. But now they're being pulled on her. And what does she do in response? She mocks them. The same people that voted for her in the primary that just sent her skyrocketing up in the Democratic Party as far as publicity and FaceTime goes. So that's what they really and truly think. Uh, conservative people aren't surprised, but progressives are. Well, don't be. This is what you voted for. You voted for AOC and many like her and also for Joe Biden. That's flushing this toilet down the country, flushing the country down the toilet. And that's the truth. This is what you voted for. Don't be mad. Don't be mad at all. Look in the mirror and say, I effed up. I'll try not to do it again. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.